Okay, so here we have a few examples where we're going to use the binomial theorem to expand these expressions. Uh, we've already had a look informally at the fact that if we expand something like x plus y to the power 4, we can see the pattern of what happens to the powers of x and y, and we see that the coefficients actually match up with the a particular row of Pascal's triangle. So there seems to be a pattern that we can predict. Uh, what we're going to look at is a kind of formal way of just making sure that we can do this every time, even when the expressions look a wee bit more complicated. So we're going to start with A uh, in this case here, um, which is fairly straightforward. It says x plus y to the power 6. We could probably at this stage predict what the answer is going to be, but I'm going to use a binomial theorem uh, formula, uh, that, which really is basically saying to expand this, so we're having to express it as a sum from r equal 0 to n, and we've got n choose r, which is our coefficient, then we've got our two terms, which is the first term, which we generally write as an x, even when it's not an x in the the expression x to the power n minus r times y to the power r. So that's your formula that you're going to use all the time. And we can populate or substitute uh, into that formula accordingly because x literally is the, the first term here. So that's our x term. We've got a y term here is going to be here. And we know that our 6 is actually going to be n. So we can substitute in and say that we're really looking for the sum from r equal 0 to 6 of 6 choose r. The first term is x in this case, so it's x to the power 6 minus r. The second term is y, so it's y to the power r. So that's the formula that we're going to use, and we're simply going to rewrite these terms. So the, the summation at the beginning just means that we're going to have uh, a sum of terms. So we write out every term for a different value of r. So we start off with 6 choose 0. And when r is 0, then the x term, x to the power 6 minus 0, is going to be x to the power 6. And we can, if you want, we can write in the fact that it's y to the power 0 in time you can maybe drop that kind of automatically, but at the moment I'll keep it in. And then we basically do that for every value of r from 0 up to 6, which takes a wee bit of writing out, but sometimes it's good just to have the patience to do it. Sometimes when you race through things, you miss some important... information. Move on to the next line here, which you put at the end, plus 6 choose 5 x y to the 5 x to the 0 y to the 6. Taking that x, previous x is x to the power 1. So that's all our terms. Uh, the summation at the beginning of the binomial theorem is just a way of reminding us that there's going to be a number of terms added together. So we can simplify that a little bit. Uh, I just realized I put plus sign in. Yep, let's get rid of that. So we need to replace all these uh, combinations with actual numerical values, which you can use your calculator, or uh, the way I would normally suggest you do it is you just kind of try and remember the different rows of Pascal's triangle. I'll put them up here. Uh, so row 6, which is what we're working from, starts 1, 6, and then it's just about trying to remember the different elements of it or copying it down. So we're going to be dealing with those coefficients here, 1, 6, 15, 20, 15, 6, and 1, and they're going to be replaced one by one in as our coefficients here. So, just to make the point, so 6 choose 0 is 1, so we've got 1 
times x to the power 6, we'll drop the y to the power 0, plus our next coefficient is 6, plus, right place, and what have we got there? We've got x to the power 5y, plus, next coefficient is 15, and that's going to be x to the 4 y squared. So we keep going on here. Takes me a bit of time. And we've got 20 x to the 3 y to the 3 plus 15 Four plus, and where are we then? We're at six, choose five, which we're back to six. And then back to one. And we've only got the Y at six. Okay. So, here we've got a simplified expression. Can we simplify it any further? Well, not really. Uh, that's as far as it would go. One little check that you can make is that if you have a look at the powers of your two terms, in each case if there are two, that's a 1. If you look at the powers in each uh, term, they should add up to 6. They should add up to the value of n for your particular expansion. That's always a good way to check that you've got the powers at least correct. Uh, we, we simplified it there. That's the answer. So in other words, x plus y to the power 6 can be written out this way as our expansion. I'll make, I'll do the example b as a separate video clip just to save on the file size. So if you want to have a look at how to do example b, just click on the next part of the video.